so um, I didn't do an update last week for my pregnancy like I said I was going to do every week and I have a good excuse. <laughs> um, I honestly didn't really feel like there was like a huge difference in last week than my last when I first announced that I was pregnant. Um, not a whole lot of different like updates I really updates really to really like update you guys on. Um, but I felt the need to update you guys on this week. I turned 22 weeks yesterday. So I am almost six months pregnant and I cannot believe how fast this is going. It's literally flying by so fast. It's, I can't even believe it. But, um, I wanted to come on here and kind of update you guys on this week because since from turning 20 weeks to now, which is 22 weeks, I kind of feel, I don't know, I just... I feel a few things that are different and I just wanted to kind of update you guys on so I'm just going to go ahead and get started on how I've been feeling for 22 weeks of pregnancy. First things first, as you will probably realize throughout this video is that I am very winded and short of breath recently. Um, baby girl is approximately like right around 11 inches so she's almost a foot long and um, she almost weighs a pound. I think she's like 15 ounces now and I'm pretty sure there's like 16 ounces in a pound if I read that right on my app, but um, she's almost a foot long and she is almost a pound, which is crazy. She's the size of an eggplant. So, I mean, I don't know, I guess about like this. <laughs> I don't have an eggplant to show you guys, but my app says that she's currently the size of an eggplant. And it's so weird because this past week I've noticed like my belly button, it's so weird. I've noticed that like my belly button is super, super, super tender and um, I talked to my doctor about it and he said that's usually the start of it poking out so um which is weird because I didn't really think that my belly button was going to pop out because I have like such like a deep belly button I was like I don't think it's going to pop out you know if it comes out a little bit it's it's not going to be like this huge bump but I I noticed that my belly button was really really sensitive and like tender to the touch and um, I realized that when David, he was like rubbing on my stomach and stuff and he went over my belly button and I was just kind of like, oh, that's weird. And I was like pushing on it and stuff. I was like, oh my God, my belly button is freaking sensitive. What? <laughs> but now like ever since I realized that like my belly button is starting to poke out and it's really like sensitive and stuff, that's where she kicks the most. Like she kicks right behind my belly button and it doesn't hurt, but it's just really weird and uncomfortable because... You know, like when something's sensitive, you don't, you don't want to like, it doesn't hurt, but it's just kind of like, ugh, you know, like, and I'm always like, I'll try to poke at her around just to try to get her to move around so she'll kick in different areas. And um, I don't feel the strong, strong kicks like you usually do around 22 weeks. And that's because my doctor told me that I have an interior placenta, which cushions, it's like, instead of like the placenta, the baby, then my stomach, it's like the baby placenta, then my stomach. So the placenta, cushion, placenta cushions a lot of her kicks, but I do still feel them just not as much as, I guess, a normal five and a half month pregnant woman would. Um, but the dog said it's totally normal and it's very, very common in pregnancy. So it's something to be alarmed about and it's something that's going to affect the birth or anything like that. Um, but he said around like 25 weeks is usually when I'll start feeling the really, really strong kicks. So, um... I actually, yesterday morning too, also, I got woken up for the first time from her kicking. Um, her kicks, like I said, they aren't, they aren't super, super strong yet, so um, other than getting up to go to the bathroom like every hour at night, which is when I go to the bathroom the most, it's so weird, um, I, I sleep pretty good. I'm starting to get a little bit uncomfortable because I'm having like a lot of back pain. Um, my feet started swelling the other day. Um, just stuff like that. So sometimes I get really uncomfortable at night and I toss and turn, but I haven't been kept up from like her moving and kicking and stuff like that. Except for yesterday morning, like I said, she actually woke me up because she kicked like down towards like my crotch. <laughs> and I was just kind of like, took me by surprise. I was just like, oh, that is weird. Uh, what the hell is that? But, and I, after I woke up, I noticed it was her. She was constantly moving around. So I just laid there on my back and I just put my hands on my stomach and I just sat there and like let like just let her move around and get comfortable and then when she finally slowed down um that's when I got up and kind of started my morning because I was already awake but I absolutely love feeling her move around it's just like it's crazy how like each week I can feel more and more of her kicking and my app also said that um she sleeps between 12 to 14 hours now 
so she's pretty active quite a few hours of the day um, but I only I usually only feel her when I'm sitting still like how I am now or when I first wake up in the morning or like right before I go to bed like if I'm just walking around I don't really feel her and I'm pretty sure because like when you walk and stuff it kind of rocks them to sleep so but I usually feel her the most when I'm sitting still another thing that I did notice too um, I read usually the second trimester that's usually like when your skin clears up because I had really really bad I broke out so bad like in the, remember my first trimester I mean I was breaking out so bad and now in my second trimester my face hasn't really cleared up it's actually like starting to get worse you can't really tell because I have a lot of makeup on um, it's calming down a little bit but like the other day like last probably the end of last week um, I noticed like I was breaking out my nose was bright red I looked like Rudolph because I had like multiple pimples like wanting to form on the same spot on my nose so like my nose was all swollen and I looked like Rudolph and nothing covered it like I tried to put makeup on it and um, I've been breaking out you probably can't tell but I've been breaking out really bad around my chin which I've always broke out really bad around my chin but now I've noticed like I'm starting to break out a little bit right here I've never been one to break out like on the side of my head or like um, or on the side of my face or on my forehead but now I guess being pregnant I'm just like breaking out all these weird spots and um, I've been washing my face I've been using like my avocado mask and it seems to be helping a little bit I wash my face every single day because I'm just like oh I can't stand having pimples on my face but I know it's a part of pregnancy so I try not to really feed too much into it so as far as doctor's appointments go I have not been to the doctor since my last video um, I'm going every four weeks. I haven't been, I think we had just went to the doctor when I posted that video. I was like 19 weeks in my pregnancy announcement video, which I'll have linked down below if you guys want to watch that. I talk about the whole story of how we find out, how I told my husband, how our parents reacted and stuff like that. Um, but I actually go next Friday. They're sending me back for an ultrasound because whenever I did the anatomy scan at 18 weeks, um, she's like face down or something so they couldn't really get like a good profile shot of her um she's just real I guess she's just really comfortable down like face down she's just she's been like that ever since my first ultrasound that I got she was doing a complete handstand and it made me like we couldn't get the 12 week the down syndrome test because of how she was positioned and we tried like every week for an ultrasound and finally I was just like you know what I don't care like if she comes out with down syndrome I'll be just as happy as I would if she wouldn't come out with down syndrome like it, it doesn't matter to me so I told them just to skip all the tests I don't even want to worry about it anymore and it was kind of stressful like them like constantly poking at me with the ultrasound thing and um they couldn't get what they needed on the top so they had to do like one of the vaginal ultrasounds which is very uncomfortable and I was just like I'm just over it I don't want to sit here and poke at her anymore if she's comfortable let her be comfortable I don't want to mess her up so we just kind of left it alone at that so um but I'm going back next Friday because they need to get like the brain scan or whatever so they're going to try it one more time and then um I go back to my OB appointment which is the week after that just for like the regular checkup they go in they weigh you they check your blood pressure and they you need to hear the heartbeat and all that stuff so it's not really a big appointment it's just a little checkup or whatever um my last doctor's appointment I when I was weighed I had gained four pounds which um at 20 I mean I don't know how much I've gained now but um my last appointment I was around like 19 weeks and I had only gained four pounds um and I'm sure because a lot of it in the beginning I was so I was so tired my back was hurting so I was like in bed a lot so I didn't get a whole lot of exercise like even now walking hurts my back the worst um I only find relief when I like lay in the bed with my legs propped up like but I try to get out and walk as much as I can because I know it's good exercise but it's hard when you're like in pain and stuff like that you know what I mean but I don't know I guess it's a part of being pregnant <laughs> Um, but yeah, I haven't really had like any weird cravings. Um, I eat a lot of pickles, but that's nothing new because I did. I ate a lot of pickles before I was pregnant. So, um, I do crave sweet tea though. Like, I guess it's not a, that's not a super weird craving. I mean, I drink water non-stop. That's all I drink. That's all I've drank since before I even got pregnant. Um, but I do crave sweet tea and in particular, I like Bono sweet tea, which is like a barbecue place. 
oh my god I just like every once in a while I have David I'm like I'll have him call on his way home and I'm like can you please just stop by bonus and get me a sweet tea um I try not to drink a whole lot of caffeine like if I have a coffee that morning or something like that I won't touch anything else with caffeine or sugar in it I just drink strictly water but um if I'm doing good with my water intake for that day I'll splurge a little bit and do you know take a cup of, uh, drink a cup of sweet tea so um but yeah, other than that, um, nothing really new to really update you guys on other than that stuff. Um, yeah, I've just been like resting and we're really getting to her nursery together. Her crib should be coming any day now. It officially shipped. We ordered it last week and it shipped, I think, yesterday. So it should be coming any day now. Um, I'm going to do a nursery tour whenever we get the nursery completely done. Because we haven't really figured out where my dogs are going to go yet. Um, we only have a three bedroom house. Our room, obviously, this is a, a bedroom, but we turned it into a makeup room, and then we have the guest bedroom, but um, the guest bedroom is where we kept the dogs, so this room that I'm in is so small, I really don't want, I don't know, I don't really want to put the dogs in here, because this is like where I also film, and they're really loud, and they bark a lot, they're chihuahuas, so I just, I don't know, like we're trying to talk to our air guy that comes and checks our air, like our AC every six months. We're trying to talk to him to see if there's somehow he could like make our garage cold because you walk out there and it's like a sauna. I would really, because our garage isn't like a typical garage. It's like a big giant living room because of the man cave. So I'm really like hoping that maybe we can set something up to have them come out and like make our garage cold so like we could put our dogs out there because I live in Florida and the past few, like the past month or so it's been like 100 degrees at the least like it is miserably hot so when you walk out in my garage it's just like ugh, and I don't, I'm not putting them out there in that heat so and they're inside dogs so I can't leave them outside either um, so we're really just trying to figure out what to do with our dogs and then when we figure out what to do with our dogs we can really get like fully fully started on the nursery which I'm really really excited about so um, yeah that's really all all that's really left to update you guys on um, like I said I'll do a nursery tour whenever we start putting it together and um, we have everything that we need other than her crib, which should be here any day now, so I'm really excited to put that together. It's like this really huge, it's like one of those convertible cribs. It looks like a princess crib. It is so beautiful, and it converts into like a toddler bed and then like a full-size bed, so she can have it up until, you know, she's old enough to say that she wants a bigger bed or something like that. But it I'm so sorry if this video is so skippy. My freaking camera shut off and then I had it rolling again and now I just said my card was full so I had to delete some stuff off of it so hopefully this is going to be the last jumpy clip that I do but um, I'm just going to go ahead and actually end the video because I really don't have anything else to really talk to you guys about um, if you guys want to see like baby bump pics when I post them and stuff I post a lot on Instagram so um, just follow me on Instagram it's the same as my YouTube channel it's purple kisses all 11 10 uh, link is always down below um, but yeah other than that uh, I don't really have much to talk to you guys about, and this is actually the first time I've worn makeup. <sighs> this is actually the second time I've worn a full face of makeup since I found out I was pregnant, which was almost six months ago. <laughs> I just have not been in the mood to wear makeup whatsoever, but, uh, every once in a blue moon I'll get in the mood, like tonight's date night, so. I did my hair and my makeup, and I actually cut my hair last night. My hair, I cut about a foot off, like my hair was super, super long, and it was just getting easily knotted, and it was just hot. Like I said, it's been like 100 and like 10 degrees here where I live, so it's just miserably hot, and it's like falling out really bad, so I just chopped it all off, and this is where we are. So I really like it, because this is my natural hair, like this is my natural curly hair. Um, this is like air dried from the shower <laughs> um, I actually really really like it this length because I can still put it up in a bun if it get hot and when I wear it down it's not like hanging all down and you know wrapped around my arms and stuff like that so I actually really like it but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pregnancy update videos if you guys have any questions um, write them down below and I'll answer them in my next like pregnancy or when I do like a pregnancy Q&A or something like that so um, yeah uh, I guess I will see you guys